So what about some of the more standard, direct lucid dreaming techniques that they have out there? And so a lot of these will still be, of course, very beneficial for people, whether you're already established with your lucid dreaming practice or if you're just, you know, kind of brand new and starting out. So I guess for starters, we'll go with like really what I feel is really one of the best ones out there, which is wake back to bed. So the way this is typically done is you get past the first two cycles of sleep. So about like three hours or so after you fall asleep, because in the first three hours or the first two cycles is generally when you get your deep um, stage three, four sleep all out of the way. So you wake up after that, stay awake for like 20 minutes to maybe an hour and then try to go back to sleep. So you want your mind to kind of fully wake up but then your body to still be tired enough where you can fall back asleep. And that really does really drastically increase the chances of you getting lucid after that. Now, I don't like to do that because then you have to set aside an extra hour of sleep time just to be potentially awake in bed that whole time, you know, doing this whole wake back to bed thing. So what I find works for me really great, maybe not as good as doing it the, the classic way, is I'll just get up for short periods. So you can even set like an alarm to, to you know, purposely wake you up. You can set several of these alarms if you're good at waking up, staying awake for a little while and then falling back asleep. So I'll wake up, typically mid-dream. If you start getting to like, you know, hour four, five, six or more, more often than not, when you wake up, you'll be in the middle of a dream. You'll be in the middle of REM. So turn that alarm off. Keep it really close to you so you can get to your phone really easily and quickly. Immediately start trying to recall the, as much of the dreams as you can to memory. Then what I'll generally do is I'll just lie in bed and as I'm recalling the dream to memory, just kind of drift off in that process. And I find just doing that alone really increases the chances of me getting lucid, even potentially having a wild, which are, you know, wake initiated lucid dreams, which I guess we can cover here in a later video. But to me, that's my main technique. Like if I really want to get lucid and if I was like in a, say like in a sleep lab trying to get lucid on a particular night, Really, my, my, my most uh, foolproof way to do it would be, first of all, to get lots of hours of sleep. So it could even help to um, kind of be sleep deprived for a um, night or two beforehand so I'm extra tired. So I can, you know, definitely be getting like eight, maybe even more hours of sleep. I'll set a bunch of those little short alarms to wake me up, turn off, hopefully get up mid-dream, and then just try to surf that liminal dream space because hopefully if you're tired and fall asleep fast, you'll slip straight back into hypnagogia pretty quickly. Ride that straight back into dreams. Maybe not realize the time where it switches from hypnagogia into REM and actually have a true wild. But very often, even if I miss that initial, um, that initial switch, at some point as I'm following the dream, I will remember, oh wait, you know, I'm trying to lucid dream, I'm trying to recall this dream, trying to stay one step removed from it and hold my lucidity. Lucidity will kick in and then I can, um, you know, start playing or doing whatever I want from that point on. So wake back to bed is very useful. Doing it the classic way is typically the best, but I find um, if you don't like to do that, try my kind of modified technique where you just wake up, you know, for hopefully really short, like five to 10 minutes or so, turn off that alarm, immediately start committing the dream to memory, and then, you know, slide right back into hypnagogia, then right back into REM and try to get lucid that way.